Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Rahul and in this video we'll be looking at a try hack with room called Biblotica. Now what we have to do is, all we have to do is find the root and the user flag just as usual. Now we've been given with an IP address. First of all, what we can try to do is we can start off with rust scan tag A followed by the IP address. Now what this will do is this will straight away give you the open ports that are, um, ports that are open. This is quite fast so I prefer this over nmap when are looking for the ports that are open now you can start off with the detailed scan and followed by the ip address i've already done it so let's just look what we have now we have a standard 22 port open which says that it is ssh the latest version then we have port 8000 now there is an http there is a http uh, service running and this tells the service tells me that the python is made on flask or django so let's just go to that port and see what happens uh let's just turn off the intercept and as you can see straight away it says login enter your username and password now typically what will happen here is you'll have to sign up create an account see how the application reacts but before that what i try to do is just look for sql injection attacks or just the common username and passwords and as you can see it says incorrect username or password now what if i were to type in admin or one equal to one here you will see that hi smoky welcome to index page now this tells us that this is vulnerable to the sql injection attack so what i'll try to do here is i'll turn on my intercept click on login and send it to uh, let's just not send it to repeat repeater let me just click on sign out and let me just type in admin admin turn on the intercept sign in and there we have now this is the request so what i'll try to do is i'll try to copy this request now there are two ways in which you can do you can just click on right click and click on copy to file but i'll not be doing this i prefer a simple method which is uh just clipping uh typing in sorry copying it out and typing in rig nano request dot text now you could have achieved the same but there you have to just go through the directories i don't prefer that now you have the requests dot file text file you can what you can try to do is you can type in sql map tag r which is that it will accept a file let me just pause it for a while and let me just type in tables because i do not want to waste much time in seek on sql map and as you can see straight away it gives us the um the you the tables that are available to us now what i'll try to do here is i'll try tag t and users now when you do not have the table name what you have to do is you have to type in tag tag tables but now that i have it i'll type in tag t users and tag tag dump now what this will do is this will dump the credentials now these are the credentials that i have let's just click on this copy mm, echo Smokey followed by the password that he has and let's just click on redirect it to write up dot text now i have the username and the password now there are a couple of things that you can try to do we know that clicking on just bypassing the admin panel does not give us anything and also there is only one user on the uh, in the server side in the sql database so no use of escalating our privileges to admin or anything because there is no such user it won't help so we remember that there is another port open which is port 22 which would help us so what we can try to do is ssh smoky followed by the ip address which is this let me just copy it out and hit enter and as you can see we are inside Hoping that we would get the flag, you'll see that I do not get anything here. Now, I got a little anxious at this point of time. Now, what do I do? Because I had looked up everywhere. So, let's just see if we can find users.txt file. Oh, sorry, it is a user.txt file. As you can see, here it is. It is in the use home. It is in the home i'm sorry about that but first of all let me just print out my directory which is home smoky so this tells me that there are two users and i'll have to perform lateral movement 
so let's just see if i can read that file first of all before moving laterally and as you can see i do not have read permissions the root has read and write permissions hazel has read permissions but i do not have anything now at this point of time what i'll have to do is i'll have to try to find out hazel's password this could be either in a shared repository or any such file that could contain credentials but at this point of time i was a bit uh, i was thinking that this because this port is this is an http server and this is a website so typically websites are there in var www or var html and as you can see there is nothing as such there is no www or html folder now this got me wondering that where could be the website be hosted so let me just type in ps tag ox and here you will see all the services that are running and here you will see that there is a var opt app app.py file so var because here you will see that smoky is running the webs web, um, the website and it is in the var opt app directory let me just see if we have got our hands over the credentials and as you can see this is these are generally my sql credentials i could try using this on hazel so so hazel if i type in the password it will tell me that authentication failed so this is the uh, this is the exact time where we go to the hint it says weak password now what could the weak passwords be there could be a ton you could try admin password along with the name so i won't be i wasting much of your time and just type in so hazel and what i'll do is i'll just type in hazel as password and as you can see we are inside the we are in the home hazel directory and if i type in user dot to get user dot text you'll see that we get the tool the user flag so we are one flag up now what is the root flag at this point of time you could try a couple of things first is find type f perm 4000 now what i'm trying to do at this point of time is i'm looking for files which have set uid bit set and if i get any um, any file that looks peculiar i'll try to escalate my privileges through it but as you can see there is nothing as such these are just the normal files so there is one more thing that you can try to do is type in sudo tag l to see if the root user has granted us any special permissions that we are allowed to run and as you can see straight away we get this it says root you can run this command as root and the command is user win python 3 home hazel hasher.py now we are in the home hazel directory let's just see what do we have here and as you can see it says import hashlib so a directory is being imported uh, a library is being imported which is hashlib and what we'll try to do is let's just jump to the main function it will accept a password for a hash it will then pass it to a function called hashing. Now what this hashing function will do is it will find out the MD5 hash, the SHA-256 hash and the SHA-1 hash. Now how could we exploit it? There are a ton of methods to exploit this. Let's just see which are the ones. First of all, as you can see, these are the, this is the path variable. So whenever, no, we do not need this as of now. So what, what, have, what happens in, in case of path variable that if there is a binary it will first look through the binary in this order of existence we do not need this as of now but just a hint uh, just a hint that i would be giving you that you can set the environment variable which is set env so this would be the hint but let me just tell you how so if i type in python 3 tag c import sys and print sys dot path As you can see, it will first of all look for this this um, this library in the current directory, followed by this directory and this directory. So let's just see if the uh, if it exists in this directory because the hashlib uh, hashlib library does not exist in the current directory as we just saw. So ls tag lps user lib python three point eight grep hash lib hash lib 
and as you can see there we go but we do not have any write permission so we will not be able to modify it so there this is where the set env comes into play so what this will allow us to do is it will try to uh, change the current execution flow so what we can try to do is we know as of now the path variable is this first of all it will look for the library here then here then here then here then here then here but we can change this flow with the help of something called python env we can explicitly set the the directory where it can look so let's just try to create a fake uh, hash lib.py file so nano hash lib.py here you'll see that i do not have any read or write permissions here that is really weird so what i'll try to do is i'll try to exit and let's just move to the temp directory now let's just create a hash lib.py file let's just create a shebang line which is user bin env python 3 import os os.system copy let's just copy bin bash after copying it will change the permissions will apply a set uid bit but first of all if i am copying it i'll have to sub specify the directory where i want to copy it so what i'll do is temp bash and i'll change the set uid bit or i'll apply a set uid bit there and let's just hit enter ch mod 777 so that we do not have any issues so hazel hazel and let's just go to the home hazel directory type in sudo tag l python uh, first of all what we'll have to do is type in sudo python env is equal to temp because we have it in the temp directory as you can see and followed by the exact same command which is this so let me just copy it it will again ask you for the hash no worries and let's just see if it worked it doesn't seem that it's worked because it should have thrown an error so let's just type in python lib hijack because this is called python library hijacking so let me just see if we missed anything as you can see this is a thing so we should have typed in python part not python env so let's just go over it again and as you can see we got a bunch of errors so at this point of time what we can try to do is as you can see let's just go to the temp directory and as you can see we have it here we have a bash file with a set uid bit set and let's just type in bash back p and if i type in who am i i am the root user so let's just go to the root directory cat root.txt and here we go so thank you guys i hope you learned something out of this video thank you for the video